it's Keely from Soy and Shea and thank you for joining me. I'm going to make a loaf of soap using lychee and red tea from Aroma. It has notes of honeydew melon, red tea, African geranium and lily of the valley. It has 0% vanillin in it so I'm going to do a white base with some red swirls through it. Now this fragrance oil has come highly recommended to me so I'm really really hoping that it behaves unlike that bergamot and tobacco which we made in the last soap. So let's go and make this lychee and red tea soap. So as always I have my oils in this bucket here. It is a cool day so i am warmed my oils up to about 28 degrees and I have my lye water with Tussa silk here which is also sitting at about 28 degrees Celsius. I'm going to pour my lye water slowly into my oils. I'm going to blitz it up and then split it out for the colours. I'm using today in the one bucket I'm going to put some rosewood mica with which is from my mica obsession so I'm just going to put a bit into here into my next bucket I have some really red mica from nurture soap and I'm just going to put in a little bit of that so we end up with a contrast of red colors here and then into the really big bucket, which is going to be the base of my soap, I have some Blizzard Synthetic Mica. Now this is a really pretty mica that has some bigger flecks in it. And I have found that this is one of the only white micas or, or one of the very few micas that will leave a glistening effect throughout the soap. So I really like to use it in those soaps where I want a really nice, bright, vivid white base. I am also going to add into that some titanium dioxide which I have dispersed into a little bit of water so I'm going to add this in blend it up and then we'll put some fragrance oil in and get to pouring So I have my mold here and I'm going to do a very simple drop swirl into it. So I'm going to start by pouring my white in which I am very very thankful has remained extremely fluid. So we should be able to get some really nice swirls. I'm going to pour it up to about halfway. Then I'm going to pour my reds in and then I'm going to pour some more white in to really get those red colours to move around. to get these buckets completely scraped out and then I have plans to pipe the top of this soap. Okay, so I am back and I am piping the lychee and red tea. I have a Wilton 8B tip in my piping bag here and my piping is basically the same mix as what goes into the base of my soap but I do put in a little bit of beeswax as well which I find helps to keep my piping nice and stiff when I've uh, made the little dollops here. 
So now you've often heard me say that I am from Australia and I am very keen to know where some of you guys are from as well. So if you let me know down in the comments down below where all my viewers and subscribers are from, that would be great. Now I live in a place called Mount Cotton, which is about halfway between Brisbane and the Gold Coast in Queensland. It's kind of a, it is a suburb. And we've got lots of different amenities here, but it is also quite rural. We have things like kangaroos that sit in our street. And our backyard, which you'll often hear on the videos, is just full of birds and wildlife. We can sit out on our back deck and we can see cockatoos, lorikeets, galahs, rosellas, all sorts. And there is supposedly meant to be echidnas in our area as well, but I've yet to find one. So... One day I need to go for a walk and go and see if I can find an echidna. So we've been living in the Mount Cotton or the Redlands area for the last six years, but my husband and I actually met when we were both living in Port Douglas in North Queensland. And we met up there by chance. We had somebody kind of match make us and um, we hit it off as good friends and um, as they say one thing led to another and we got married after being with each other for about four and a half years and we've now been married for about nine years or just over nine years it is now so that is just a little bit about me so I'm going to keep piping these on the top I then have some little um, soap balls that I'm going to decorate the top of this with. I'm also going to put a little bit of mica drizzle on here as well. And I also have some dried hibiscus, which looks a little bit like red tea. So I'm going to decorate the top with that as well. So we're just going to put this last dollop across the top. And I'm just going to fill the end of this in. This little end piece on the end of my moulds generally um, becomes my little sample piece that I send out with any online orders. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do before I add anything else, because of all these little grooves that I've got in my piping here, I'm going to spray some blizzard mica over the top and it kind of really accentuates those um, grooves that are in the piping. So I'm just going to give that a nice spritz over. And then I've got mica flying everywhere. I have got in my little pot here, I have some of that rosewood, yes, rosewood mica mixed in with a little bit of olive oil. And I'm just going to drizzle a little bit of that over the top as well. And then in my little cup here, I have some dried rose hip petals. And I'm just going to sprinkle just a very few over the top of the soap here just to make it look a little bit like red tea leaves. I actually really like red tea so I decided I would use something that looks like red tea and I would make myself a cup of red tea instead. So we'll just, I don't want too many because I don't want to overdo it. And that should be about enough most of these will come off on that first wash so I don't want to put too many on there and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some soap some little soap gumballs now I've colored I've made these using the Stevenson no sweat clear melt and pour and I've put some blizzard mica in there so they're really nice and shiny and I've done them to make them kind of look a little bit like light cheese and I'm just going to pop those straight onto the top of each bar of soap. And I'm going to push them down a little bit because one of the things I do notice is these are fine for posting at this height. But when I take them to markets, the um, if I make them too high, they don't fit in my market boxes. And I really don't want to buy new boxes to put my soaps in just to fit some of them. So I'll just squish them down a little bit and push them up so that my multi bar cutter will go through and I'm going to keep popping these on. Okay, so they are 
all now set in there. I'm just going to give it a very light spritz with some 99% rubbing alcohol just to hold some of that mica in place. And I'll bring you down for a closer look. Okay, so here is lychee and red tea up close. It's looking really pretty and just how I imagined it. I can't wait to cut it because it does look like it's going to have some really nice swirls in there. As for the fragrance, it is very strong. I'm a little bit undecided, but as I said, I was highly recommended this fragrance. So we'll see what it's like in about 18 to 24 hours. Hi everyone, I am back to cut lychee and red tea. It is set up beautifully and I'm pretty excited to see what swirls we've got on the inside here. It is smelling really strong and I can get hints of that geranium coming through on this one. Now I'm going to line it up on its side because of those hibiscus petals that I've put on the top. So I'm just going to line it up and make sure my wires are going to miss those soap balls which it looks like it will and I am going to gently push through on here so Okay, so I can see I've got some glycerin ribbons in here, but that's going to be okay. I actually like the look of glycerin ribbons. And here is the first piece. And those red um, colours have swirled into that beautifully. So we'll go on that one there. And we'll go for the next piece. So I'm really liking that drop swirl on this one. I think it was a drop swirl I did. I can't remember now. It was yesterday. And there is the top. So I'm very pleased with how that has come together there. I hope you have enjoyed watching me make my lychee and red tea soap. If you did, leave me a thumbs up and any comments down below and I'll get back to you with any questions that you may have. I bring you a video once every week. So if you want to be notified of when the next video comes up, hit that subscribe button and the little bell and that will actually notify you as soon as that video goes up each week. Don't forget to also leave me down in the comments section where you're from. I'd love to know where my viewers are all from. And until next time, have a great week.